Hi Virgo, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your weekly love reading for November 6th through November 12th. This is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. I have pre-shuffled this deck for you, so I'm only going to shuffle for a moment. This may or may not resonate as it's for hundreds and thousands of people, so if it doesn't resonate with you, it was not meant for you. Okay. This is only for Virgo sun and rising signs. If you want to know why I don't include the moon signs, you can watch my welcome video. And I think it's time. Now I need to remind you that time is fluid. This could have already happened. It may be happening this week or it could be happening next week. The basis of your reading is the Ten of Swords. That is a completion, okay? There's been some kind of loss, okay? And now it's over, okay? There's been some kind of loss, and this week or last week or next week, it is over, okay? So, I'm just going to make sure this is correct. I guess that's pretty good. All right, so something is, is over, okay, with the Ten of Swords being the basis of your reading. Um, I believe it looks like you guys have freed yourself from a situation or you are very close to doing that. And you know, it took a lot of strength. It did, it took a lot of strength and it took a lot of courage for you to follow your own happiness, for you to change your life. I see that many of you, many of you have just you know, you've you felt defeated and there's been a loss, but you have overcome it and you've brought out your courage and you brought out your strength and you brought out your confidence and your happiness is coming back and you're about to start a new chapter, a new phase of your life because of your um, the action that you have taken, okay? I see many of you are moving to a more peaceful spot within yourself and within your life. You're just feeling at peace. Okay, and you've taken the steps, whereas before I think that you, there were some delays that you were scared to take a step, but many of you have now taken a step and you have brought peace and happiness to your life. Um, you know, but that does not mean that there wasn't a loss, because there was. And I think there was probably some, um, oh, spitefulness brought about because of this loss okay maybe there was a spitefulness over possessions okay maybe that's where the the arguments came in that could have been over possessions or over love I feel like that and maybe there was a new unexpected choice in love that popped into your life or you're looking for something else okay I feel like you just uh, there's something didn't turn out the way you had hoped and you're having regrets and you're feeling like why why has this happened but I can't pretend I can't I can't just stay here anymore even though it hurts even though you know this hurts I have to let go I have to move on and you do it and it takes courage and confidence to do that. It's like, you know what? There's something more. And I'm going for that something more. I want the excitement. I'm looking for excitement. I'm looking for adventure. I believe many of you have received or you have had a new discovery. And in and many of you, that's in love. And I think it probably came in very quickly. And it's not it's something that you just can't ignore. Okay? You can't ignore it. And so you've taken the steps to start the next phase of your life and you had to let something go to start that next phase you had to free yourself from a situation to bring about your own happiness you put your own happiness in your hands and nobody else's and i think because you did that there is a chance for a soulmate connection between you and another person with this card and this card 
There is, okay? I think where there has been delays, I think your action changes everything, okay? I think that many of you are bringing peace, harmony, happiness, and love into your life. Exciting love, all right? And it could be very unexpectedly. I'm going to start shuffling the next deck. I think there's been some challenges, there's been some trials over this loss, and you know, it really, it really took a lot of strength. So I think that you guys pulled that strength out and took the steps that you needed to free yourself from a situation that you didn't want to be in anymore. And now you're excited for the future. So I think this week is about um, bringing peace and harmony back to your life. I think you're starting to feel more at peace after, you know, these changes have taken place. If you're single, a new unexpected uh, lover could come into your life. Now this may or may not resonate because many of you probably still have to um, let go of something. This completion hasn't happened yet. Many of you haven't freed yourself yet. And that means mentally. These swords are mentally. I mean physically and mentally with the six of swords. This is actually moving away from the situation. This one is mentally moving away from the situation and physically. Okay? So this new love doesn't come in until you have freed yourself. Till you have completely released yourself from this situation that was not bringing you happiness. Okay? But for most of you watching this, you can celebrate your success, okay? Because the finish line is here, and love is around the corner. <laughs> this right here, the Hierophant, this Hierophant, this is the High Priest, follows their own path, believes in themselves, believes in their own happiness, and does what they need to do. They listen to their inner guide. They head towards the light. They head towards their path. And that's exactly what you're doing. I do believe that... Um, I'm going to get the rest of the cards. I have, a, I have a problem with dealing the cards out. I'm talking before the cards are down. I think it is a need to celebrate. I do. I feel like it's a need to celebrate. And the outcome is still the strength card. This tells me that many of you are literally using all the strength within yourself to move forward, to bring the peace and the happiness back to your life. You are, you're taking the steps, you're not sitting still, you're looking for the, the ultimate commitment, okay? You're no longer gonna be stuck in a, in, a, in a spot where there's no growth, where it's a battle that can't be won because it's unnecessary. It's like unnecessary. You just can't go any further. There's no more growth. You can't stay there anymore. And that's why the strength is here. It's saying, okay, all right, this is your lesson at this time. How much strength do you have? How strong are you? How much do you love yourself? How much willpower do you have? Are you ready to open up? Are you ready to master your emotions? Are you using that force within? And you are. You are. I think that many of you have closed a door. You have closed a door that no longer serves you. That it was a loss. It was a loss. But it was a blessing. It was a blessing because you're following your own path. And it was going to bring in a new love. All right? If if uh, you're in a relationship, this could be a resurgence of a relationship. Okay? But I think for many of you, it's new. All right? And I think it's a, it's very, it's after a time of regrets of feeling like things didn't turn out. What am I going to do? How am I going to handle this? You know, should I do the right thing for me or should I do the right thing for everybody else? You know, I think there's a lot of contemplation here and a lot of moping over this of what should I do? How can I handle this? You know, this isn't what I want. I'm looking for more. I'm looking for more excitement. I'm looking for a more adventure. I'm looking for real love. And I need to follow my own path. But there's going to be a loss either way. So I'm going to have to be strong. And I'm going to have to be confident. Because I love myself. All 
I'm going to get you one of these Archangel Michael cards. I feel like for many of you, um, there may you may have had a uh, you may have been what well, you could be letting go of one partner because you there's another one that is more suited for you. Okay. I think because that you have pulled out your strength and your courage and your confidence, the universe sees that. And they're bringing you your wish fulfillment. And I think your wish fulfillment is ultimate true love and commitment. Mutual. With somebody who is on the same level as you. And I think that because you have listened and followed your own path, that's why this world card is here. When you listen and you follow your own path, you are rewarded. And this is a reward. It is. Celebrate your success. You're about to start a major new phase in your life that does lead to the ultimate commitment and your wish fulfillment. Okay? And love. All right? And love. So I think you are being rewarded for having the courage to follow your own path. Oh my gosh. Whew, that's what came out for you. Have confidence. This is from Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael, please lend me your courage and fortitude. Help me realize that I am one with all that is divine. Wisdom, strength, love, creativity, abundance, and health. Allow me to feel confident and peaceful about myself in all ways. If you are still feeling defeated, if you're still feeling like why or how can I do this or where's my courage, where's my confidence, am I making the right move? The answer is yes, believe in yourself. Have confidence. Wish fulfillment is here for you should you make the steps that honor your path and your inner being. It's a major lesson when you do that. When you, This is a major lesson in the world card. When you actually honor your own needs and your own path you've learned one lesson and it's you can check that off you've learned it and now it's you will start on to the next one and you will be rewarded you will be and I believe it's rewarded with true love so Virgo this is what I have for you for the week of November 6th through November 12th. I, ho I hope you enjoyed your reading and please feel free to share it.